The idea of the iconic Walter Mitty, the Daydreamer, which is, you know, has been around for a long time, and, and the Danny Kaye movie is brilliant, and it's this great musical comedy, but Steve saw something in it that was, I think, a different way to tell the story, and to me, I just was affected by it when I read it emotionally, and the idea of the journey that this guy goes on. I read it, and I, and I, was, I immediately just wanted to be a part of it and, and make it as a film, and, and uh, so the acting, I think, it came to me as an actor, but then uh, we started talking about directors and we and I started talking about the movie and, and pretty soon I ended up directing it. You always wish you had somebody there directing you, you know? I always wish that I was like best friends with, uh, you know, Alfonso Caron or somebody that come on the set and uh, give me some tips while I'm acting, but uh, it gets a little lonely sometimes, but you kind of have to, um, you know, bracket it a little bit and you try things and give yourself a break as an actor and uh, not be too tough on yourself as a director. I love working with Kristen. I mean, she's, it was important to me in the role that there was somebody playing Cheryl who that audience would believe that Walter could be with and that Walter would be connected with. And very quickly in the movie, you have to buy that because he kind of goes off into the world uh, relatively early in the film. So it was finding somebody who the audience could find really accessible and was really funny and real and attractive and charming. And you know, Kristen's just a very unique personality that way. And so I, I love working with her.